Tarzirs sending ultrasonic messages to apes talking like humans. Here are 10 bizarre ways that animals communicate. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number 11. Did you know that gorillas will hum while they eat? Producing vocalizations while eating is commonly seen in mammals and birds. It's also been noted with great apes like bonobos and chimpanzees. But there wasn't much evidence showing gorillas indulged in such behavior. Researchers recorded and analyzed singing behavior exhibited by wild western lowland gorillas. It seems that dominant adult males are the most musically inclined, as they carry the tune the most often. The food source played a role in the vocalizations as well. Flowers, seeds, and vegetation provoke the most humming, while insect cuisine produced the least. Experts think the humming might serve a social function by imparting a sense of safety to the group. It might also be a way of establishing hierarchical dominance. Number 10. Dogs and humans usually find it easy to communicate with one another, but now we've found out that goats exhibit a capacity to communicate with humans that rivals that of our canine companions. Researchers have found the animals use communication signals similar to dogs when they need help solving a problem. One experiment showed that when a food morsel was placed just out of reach, the goat would gaze back and forth between the food and the human in the room. Dogs exhibit similar behavior when seeking assistance from us. The evidence suggests that goats are more intelligent than have been previously given credit. Scientists also discovered that goats can express emotions. The animals indicated their contentment by keeping the tail up, along with minute ear movements and stable bleating. Number 9. French researchers found that European bison practice a form of democracy. The animals communicate with each other through snorting and guttural noises, and they mostly rely on pheromones during reproductive cycles. But it turns out they have a type of voting system as well. For example, bison will shift their massive bodies when deciding upon a new pasture for grazing. Before heading in a particular direction, the animals will gradually position themselves toward the preferred destination. When a member of the herd takes the initiative and steps forward, forward, the others will follow, assuming all members agree. Disagreement is displayed when the herd is fractured, but eventually the majority rules and the splintered factions will reunite with the rest of the herd. Number 8. Jackdaws belong to a family of corvids, which includes crows, and they're regarded as intelligent birds. But unlike most birds, they are known to stare. Eye contact is usually considered a behavior that is unique to primates, but experts tell us that jackdaws are known to use intimidating stares to protect the nests. The birds have bright eyes, colored an icy blue in stark contrast to the dark feathers, and those peepers are used to intimidate trespassers. Researchers at Cambridge University set up 100 nesting boxes with one of four pictures at the entrance hole of each box. The images included a dark circle used as a control, as well as a picture of disembodied eyes against a dark background, and close-ups of a jackdaw's face, one with dark eyes and one with bright eyes. When jackdaws encountered the image depicting bright eyes, they were hesitant to approach the entrance and were more likely to move on. Number 7. Prairie dogs are not canines. They're actually rodents that are native to North America, and it seems they've developed their own language. Studies conducted by researchers at Northern Arizona University indicate that noises the animals make, such as yips, chirps, and barks, are actually an advanced form of vocabulary, one that contains at least 100 words. Experts say that prairie dogs can describe details of predators, such as the size or color. They also have unique calls that serve to differentiate various animals from one another. One sound indicates a coyote, while another indicates a bird approaching, for instance. The variety of noises is thought to constitute a language. The rodents even seem to have words, quote-unquote, that describe humans. Experiments revealed that they could differentiate between researchers wearing different colored shirts. They also described details about whether humans were tall or short, how close they were, and even how fast they were walking. Number six. Doles are canids that are found from Central to Southeast Asia. Also known as Asiatic wild dogs, these highly adaptable critters display an impressive range of communicative behaviors. Unlike wolves, doles don't 
bark or howl. They produce a whistling noise, not unlike the red fox, but it's unknown just how dolls make this sound. The noise is thought to help coordinate packs as they travel through thick foliage. Certain sounds are linked to specific activities. Dolls emit screaming sounds when attacking prey. Screams and chatterings are thought to be alarm calls. Growling serves as a warning. Their complex body language includes lowering the tails and retracting the lips when offering a friendly or submissive greeting, while snarling, raised hair on the back, and keeping the tail in a vertical position indicates aggression. Number 5. Dolphins are known to display teamwork when catching fish and playing. Now it looks like the cetaceans might talk to each other as well. When researchers gave them a complex puzzle to solve, it seemed that the dolphins used a language which was aimed at solving the problem. Six male bottlenose dolphins were presented with a locked capsule that was filled with food. To open it, two ropes on each end had to be pulled simultaneously. Only two dolphins were able to solve the puzzle and open the capsule, and that within only 30 seconds. Researchers noted that this pair of dolphins talked to each other more often while attempting to solve the problem. Burst pulses, or increases in vocalizations, were linked to the specific task as opposed to the normal chatter between dolphins. Experts say this is conclusive evidence that dolphins use vocalizations to solve cooperative tasks. Number 4. Researchers in South Africa have found that white rhinos can communicate through the sense of smell. In and of itself, that is not so unusual. Mammals are known to pass information along to each other through the olfactory organs. But whereas information such as territorial boundaries is often passed along via urine, white rhinos use their dung as a communications network. Around 150 dung odor samples from the rhinos were analyzed. Experts say that vital messages can be contained in the waste. The excrement can contains chemical messages that can hold information about the animal's age, sex, territory, and if a female is in heat or not. White rhinos were found to employ communal defecation sites called middens, which act as a type of communications hub, enabling all rhinos within the social group to share the chemical messages. Number 3. Human speech is thought to have occurred within the last 100,000 years or so. But a new study involving sounds made by primates could mean the origins of our speech might date back much further. Researchers studied more than 1,300 noises made by baboons, including barks and grunts. And it turns out the apes can produce vowel sounds similar to our own. They were found to make five distinct sounds that were vowel-like, something previously believed to be unique to humans. That's due to our descended larynx, enabling us to produce sets of distinct vowels. Non-human primates have a high larynx, which was thought to prevent the animals from forming vowels found in human languages. Experts say the evidence suggests that capacities for speech were already possessed by the last common ancestor between humans and baboons around 25 million years ago. Number two. The masked birch caterpillar has a unique way of summoning its friends. When the insect needs help constructing a silken structure, it will scrape its backside against a leaf. The vibrations then serve as a type of social bonding. The process is known as anal drumming. A body part called an anal oar is used to initiate the sequence. The oar is similar to a proleg or abdominal limb which other species use for walking. In essence, they scrape the leaf with the oar by walking on the spot. These caterpillars weave the cocoons on birch leaves to transform into moths. Because the process is laborious, the insects usually use teamwork to spin the silk and hide away together. Earlier studies have shown the caterpillars will also use vibration as a way to alert others of its ilk that it's entering the territory, and that helps avoid any potential fights. Experts think that further research will reveal the critter's vibrations represent a sophisticated signaling repertoire. Number 1. Tarsiers are tiny primates known for the large, otherworldly eyes. In fact, they possess the greatest eye-to-body ratio among mammals. Along with those weird eyes, it seems the critters have a weird way to communicate with each other as well. These creatures are known to make at least 15 distinct calls, all of which can be heard by humans. But did you know that Tarsiers can also communicate using ultrasonic frequencies? Not unlike the fellow mammals like whales, dolphins, and bats, to name a few, Tarsiers can send and receive 
ultrasonic messages. Researchers conducting studies with wild tarsiers on Mindanao Island in the Philippines found that the animals can detect pitched sounds that are inaudible to other primates, so far as is known anyway. Tarsiers could hear sounds up to 91 kilohertz, excepting some rats and bats that's well beyond the range of terrestrial mammals. The animals had previously been observed opening and closing the mouths, but seeming to produce no sound. But they are in fact sending messages to one another in a type of private chat that neither predators nor prey can hear.